Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ryan and this is going to be part two to fixing a Razor Dirt Bike MX350 that clicks when you hit the throttle. In video one, I will post a link right here in the description, we determined it was the batteries causing the problem. When you hit the power switch on, the battery voltage would drop below the minimum amount of voltage needed to turn the controller on. So with that being said, today we're going to show you how to replace the batteries in your MX350. First, what we have here, we're going to remove the, this, here's a mounting plate that covers the batteries when it's in the, in the bike. Remove that, lay it aside, remove the battery. These batteries were bought on Amazon. They're not Razor batteries, but they're the same kind, same size. It's a 12 volt, 7 amp hour battery. These were, I'm thinking, $17 with prime shipping. Shipped in this about a three day battery, uh, ship time. So there you go, let's get started. Now what I like to do is go ahead and clip these off. And while you have it clipped off, these will be removed. Now you have two different sections. The bike was 24 volts, so your black lead is going to go to the first negative of the first battery, and your positive lead will go to the second positive of your second battery. With this being said, your fuse on these goes in the middle between your positive and your negative. Preferred method. Uh, working with anything toy related is going to be jarred around. Uh, the kids will probably be going over hills, maybe jumping them, whatever. You don't ever know. So my preferred method is a, the, the more permanent method, and that's solder. And what I have here is a 60-40 rosin core solder. I have a old Radio Shack 230-150 slash watt solder gun. It's got two speeds on it. Um, a soldering iron will work, like the pencil style. They will not get as hot and it will take longer for you, them to heat up. All right, we're back. What I have done, let me see, bring this closer. I have soldered the wires to the battery. I have used hot glue to put like a, a bond on top of them. They don't have to be pretty, but it's there. I've used some black electrical tape to rack around to wrap around the sides of the battery and across the middle so it's actually a battery pack you can hold on to one and it holds both. Now we're going to put the battery pack into the scooter and get everything else hooked back up and do some testing. Okay guys, so we got the battery pack installed in your razor. And right now we're at 25.7, 25.8 volts. These are the batteries straight out the box with no charge on them. Uh, I'm gonna charge it up and they'll probably read about 26 and a half volts. It don't look like much, but it would definitely help. So we got our leads tied back into the main power harness, black to ground, red to positive. Right now we're at 25.8 volts. Last video when we turned the power switch on, the voltage would drop below the minimum voltage for the controller to power on. So this time we're at 25.8. Let's uh, turn this uh, dirt bike back on. Dirt bike is turned back on. Our voltage has remained the same. With that being said, I'm going to try to pick the scooter up and turn the throttle. There you go. All along, it was the batteries was not supplying enough voltage to power the controller, so the controller was just clicking. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching. The bike is back together. MX350 is back to where it started from. Got the plastic and the seat back on. Also remember that there's one Allen head bolt underneath the gas cap, two behind the seat to install this tarp top portion. The battery box has Phillip head bolts with nuts encased into the plastic. There's two across the bottom, two across the front, and there's a short one on the very top. 
With that being said, again, I appreciate you watching this. If this has helped you out any, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Um, and also subscribe to my channel.